Hi there and welcome to another Huxley Spatial quick demo. This quick demo is to illustrate how to work with your labels in Layout View. So here I have a bunch of labels for my various neighborhoods in Bellingham, Washington in relevance to these Go bus routes. Uh, but they look a little off, and if I go to layout view, they look a little smaller, a little better, maybe fit a little bit better, but honestly, they just don't quite fit. The central business district, western Washington is all over the place. So I want to go ahead and fix those. So in order to do that, I have decided to convert these to annotation. To do that, all I have to do is right-click on my neighborhoods, make sure that my label features is on, which it should be if you see the labels, and then convert labels to annotation. You have a couple options here. Uh, the reference scale here is something to pay attention to. Make sure your map in your layout view is at the scale you would like to keep it at. Because once you convert these things, that's the reference scale that these annotations will be working with. Now you can keep these in a database, which will make them their own feature class, or you can just save them in the map, which works a little bit more like a graphic as it would in Paint. I'm going to select to do that, but if you do have uh, a database you'd like to save it in, that will be a geo database as shown here. You can also link it to a feature, in this case that would be neighborhoods, and your annotation feature class would be neighborhoods anno. Uh, you can also append there to that, to that feature class. Uh, in this case I'm going to save in the map, I'm going to create annotation uh, for all features you can also do features within a current extent if you only work, want to work with a subset of your labels, but I'm going to do all features for now, so convert. Alright, now it doesn't look like it's done anything, but it very much has. If we go back to our map, I can go to my pointer and click on a given uh, label, and I should be able to click and move it around. Now this is important to note that once you've done this, these are now individual pieces of graphic. Like, you cannot move them all as one. You have to uniquely and collect and non-collectively uh, fix them. So you, it allows you a lot more control over individual labels, but over the whole, it is a little bit more time consuming. So I'm going to move these around a bit. Alright, so I've made the moved the basic ones around, but there's a few of these long ones, Lettered Street, Central Business District, and Western Washington University, that are a bit long for the containers, the neighborhoods they're supposed to sit in. So for those, what I can do is go and click on them, right click Properties, and now I can alter them. So in this case, I want to make sure the Central Business, business District is centered and then I'm just going to click enter in these spaces and make sure those labels are stacked one on top of each other and click apply. Now I can move that around and it looks much better sitting there uh, with those stacked. I can do the same with Western Washington. Click and move. I'm going to save my map now that I made some pretty strict changes. I'm now going to go over to my layout view and see what it looks like. It looks much better. Uh, a few of these need to be moved around just a bit more to make my map look really good, so I'm going to focus my map to make sure that when I'm moving things around in layout view, it's also moving them around the map so they match up. So in this case, I'm just going to move Western Washington down just a little bit more, a little bit to my left. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right, I will leave that as it is. This has been a quick demo of how to turn labels to graphic annotation and how to move them around and work with them a bit.